Hello, animal ecologists. This is part two of my population demographic series. We're going to look at growth and length at age. So the first thing I want to do is I want to grab all the age and length data for males versus females. So to do that, we have sex organized where one is male and two is female. So we're going to take all of those and under home, sort and filter, we're gonna do a custom sort. Now we're gonna sort by sex. Smallest to largest, we'll put males at the top. So now we have all of the males right here. So that means we can grab all of the males age. So to one, copy, paste, and I want all their lengths. Oh, too far. Copy. I always paste the number. If you do just control C, control V, that works too. The first thing we're going to do is a scatter plot. So we're going to highlight our data. And we're going to make insert a chart, a scatter plot. Now something super good to know, I put age first and length second, and the computer automatically puts the first column on the x-axis. So I automatically have age on my x-axis, which is something if you're used to using Excel, you do automatically. Highlighting my chart, I wanna to go to chart design. I'm gonna remove my chart title. I'm going to remove my grid lines. I'm going to add axis titles. Age and years. And length. Millimeters. So you can see here pretty distinctly that as the fish are getting older, they're sort of capping out. So this is pretty much the same diagram from your lab manual, where the young fish are little and they very quickly grow big, but then they sort of hit a height where then growth becomes minimal. It's almost like they're maxing out on their height. So what we want to find out is L infinity, the theoretical max length that these fish are going to get. And the formula for L infinity is right here. It's L bar and then the rest of this thing. <laughs> so the things we need to know to find this, I'm going to move this graph out of the way. The things we need to know, we need to know what L bar is. L bar is the geometric mean of the five largest fish. So how are we going to do that? Easiest thing is we're going to sort our two columns home, sort, and we're going to sort our length column, largest to smallest, and then our largest ones are gonna to come to the top. So 505, 483, 480, those are our five largest. So there's a couple different ways we can find our L bar, is we can get the average of those five largest part data points. 
We can also do it where we do equals the sum. Of our five largest points divided by the count, which I know is five, but I'm showing you how to do fancy things. equals the same thing, of course. So average to me is easier, but depending on how many things you have, that's our L bar. The other thing we need to know is what P is. Well, P is literally just five divided by the total number, right? So because our L bar is only five of the total population, we need to find out how much the total population is. We wanna know what N is, what our sample size is is equals count. And we're going to find out how many data points we have. So we have 104 points. That's our count. That's our n. n equals 104. So now to find p, it just equals 5 divided by 104. We could have also done that right away and just did five divided by the count of that. basically the same thing. So now that we have our L bar and we have our P, then we can find L infinity. So L infinity equals our L bar, which is 480. And then bracket 1.0732. Plus zero point zero two two three times P, which is this number we found earlier, minus zero point zero 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 six. And then we're going to do P squared by doing that point times itself because I don't know how to do squared in Excel. And we got to remember to close our bracket. Because we started a bracket at the beginning. Right? So then enter. Oh. Yes, I will take your correction. What did I forget? Oh, I had to put a times, whatever. 5. 515.6499. That makes sense. Our current largest fish is 505. So if we look at our graph, our current largest fish, 505 is our oldest fish, our oldest two fish. So if those fish kept living for longer and longer, in theory, they would max out at 515 millimeters. That's as big as they would ever get, even if they lived really, really long. That's just following this curve. So that's the gist of growth at length at age and what L infinity means. Next up, we're going to look at maturation rates. <laughs>